He's doing collector fans, flyguy for techsushi.com. Another review, our final in the last wave four of G.I. Joe Retaliation. And this is Blind Master. I'm showing him here with just a few of the accessories. I bought this as usual with all my other G.I. Joe toys at dorksaytoys.com. And there's a link directly underneath if you want to buy this guy. He's rather cool. There are a few issues with him. I think I have, but we'll uh, go through and talk about him in just a sec. Now, one of the accessories he does come with is an incredibly silly hat. Although it's mentioned on the packaging as uh, a shield. So I guess you could use it as a shield. But ultimately, uh, it is to be worn, whoops, as a kind of hat. So uh, I just feel this is a really daft accessory. Um, I don't remember waiting this in the movie. I certainly don't remember knives protruding from it. But it just looks as daft as a bag of hammers. So... Um, Look, it's got some nice silver uh, pieces on it, but as a hat to wear it within my figure collection, I no, not going to happen. Uh, it comes with a strap under there, and all these little blades can be uh, folded inside into the hat, uh, and it's mentioned on the packaging that they are hidden blades. So, uh, yeah, I think we're taking this ninja thing a little bit too far. So, uh, anyway, um, yeah, not my favourite accessory. He also comes with this mask that fits over the figure's face. A kind of a voodoo African mask. I don't remember this from the movie. I have only seen the extended cut once. So uh, this may well be in there that I've just forgotten. So my apologies. But uh, if anyone knows, uh, please leave a comment below. We'd love to know uh, where this mask comes from. Is it the movie? Extended cut only? I think it might be. Don't have a clue. But um, yeah, a little bit odd. It does fit over the figure's face pretty well. Uh, it doesn't look that bad, but it's not my favourite look for the Blind Master, it has to be said. Uh, the Blind Master is obviously the person who teaches Snake Eyes and uh, Jinx. Well, not Snake Eyes, but Jinx, certainly uh, in the ways of uh, the ninja. So if you take that um, mask off, you get a very good likeness of uh, Riza from the Wu-Tang Clan, a.k.a. Blind Master. So let me just do a super, super close-up there for you. So a nice pink scar across the face, which is exactly what the character has. The kind of afro hair on him. And the beard. Which is pretty solid. And again, the eyes, obviously he's blind. So there's a, a fairly reasonable attempt there at trying to do that in the three and three quarter inch scale, which I think is pretty good. So not too bad at all. We'll show you the rest of the figure in just a second. One other piece that it comes with is one figure stand. Plain, nothing uh, printed on it. Just the uh, made in Hasbro China, yada yada. He also comes with one short stick. Uh, and it's got a little peg hole there, almost like a little pinhole. So I'm not quite sure. I think that can clip onto his, um, uh, onto the top if I try here for one second. That might be able to pin on there. No. There's a little plug pin up at the top, so there is no instructions yet again with some G.I. Joe's. It's very, very confusing. Not quite sure where that's meant to go, that little pin or peg, uh, or what that is. I can't recall again from the movie what the short stick is. Um, no idea, I have to be said. So, that's that. He also comes with one other accessory, which is like a gold dog uh, leash. Um, I guess the idea here is this will obviously you throw this around characters' necks and it would uh, garrote them or something. So uh, all lovely stuff. And uh, it comes with a little uh, holder there for RZA to, or the Blind Master to throw it. So that's one other accessory. And that's uh, one other thing is the sword. One kind of unusual, large, uh, very... Um, like a pirate sword, huge garroting kind of thing. Not quite sure what's going on there again. Not my favourite, really, a thing for the figure, but um, sometimes we got loads of accessories and they're great, and in this case we've got plenty of accessories and they're a bit crap, really. So not too into that. What he does come with is one other accessory, which is rather epic, and that is a stick. Uh, so you're saying, Fly Guy, what the hell? It's a stick, man. What are we getting excited about that for? Because the stick is not a stick. The stick is also a sword inside, which uh, opens up through that little sheath there, and that plugs back in. So uh, you get an excellent little uh, feature there for that. So do like that. Uh, that's a nice part of that figure, this little bamboo stick, which is a ninja sword. Very cool. Let's go look at this figure again in more detail. So um, 
What becomes apparent is this figure is actually Storm Shadow um, repainted with obviously a different head, but it's that uh, trench coat um, Storm Shadow pretty much. And what gives it away certainly on the side there is there's a holster for a pistol. And yet we have no pistol uh, and Blade Master's a ninja, so he only uses uh, swords, so not quite sure what's going on there. We do get the Rasha Kaji logo on the uh, back uh, with that peg hole, which is, there's nothing for. And uh, on that sleeve and that arm, I think it's on that arm too, yes it is, there we go. There's some nice little details also on that sash around them there. But apart from that, um, it really is Storm Shadow, and you can also tell by the fingers that are on the figure there, which is really designed to hold bows uh, for arrows and all, also the little, uh, ugh, my brain's just gone here, the little ninja stars. So um, that is what they are for. So it is basically Storm Shadow being repainted, but I do like the facial sculpt and I do like that bamboo sword. So uh, for me, it's a good figure. Uh, in terms of articulation on him, he's got a ball jointed head. You can see his arm is up there pretty much as far as it can, it can go a little higher. Um, but that's ball joint with the hinge there at that uh, shoulder, at the elbows and swivel wrist, plus also that double actioning wrist on one hand and one hand like the other. So that moves uh, both up and down and sideways on one separate hand. You can see the torso there, the articulation that we've got there, a little bit of back and forth, but principally just uh, rotating. Uh, a little bit useless because of this large Storm Shadow skirt there. There's nothing really underneath, but what you can see is the standard pin in there. Double joint on the knees, you can just about see that there, and also peck holes in the bottom, but uh, those articulated ankles too. So there's a fair bit of articulation on the Blind Master. Very good figure, but um, the question is, what do you think? Uh, do you like this figure? Is it just me, or um, I don't know, one for your collection or not? I'm a little, I think it's a little bit on the fence. Certainly with stuff like this, I'm just like, no, this is a no chance. It doesn't work for me at all. Um, but I'd love to know your thoughts. What do you think of this figure? Is it good? Is it bad? Is it one you need for your ninjas? I certainly think it's good with that uh, bamboo sword. But again, love to hear your comments below. Please do leave a comment. If you like the video, uh, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down, then at least we know how we're doing. Um, if you want to subscribe to the channel, please do. You've got lots of uh, cool videos straight into your inbox, sometimes roughly one a day of uh, brand new figures and reviews. We let we show the figures to you so you can decide whether you really want to have these in your collection or not. Save you some money. Um, also, you can join us on our social channels. They're also listed below. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, Google Plus and all that stuff. Plus, again, as I mentioned, the link to Doxy Toys where you can pick this figure up. And they've got tons of cool Joes, including definitely check out their basic speciality line. Um, they get figures on there literally from 2 or $3 dollars and up. So you can pick up some excellent Joes. Check them out. That's it. More G.I. Joe reviews will be coming in the future, so stay tuned until more figures get released. That's it. We'll see you for more reviews. Thanks.